I hate him so. I really did. Born and raised near the Big he Hole Basin, the William Ridge Whetstone no is saying <laughs> so long to a piece of land his family called their own for decades. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed coming up here and whether I just sat here on the step or whether I hiked around, I was, there was always something new to see. The deer, the elk, bear, and moose. The 367-acre parcel includes a hunting cabin William and his sons built by hand that survived the 2000 wildfires. This door was in the house that my grandfather built before 1900 down on his homestead there in Sula. The views are grand, but the bigger public picture is just as impressive. The reason why this property was so special, it, it was surrounded by state forest and other public lands. At an elevation of 5,500 feet, the land supports the highest density of wintering elk in the Bitterroot Valley at about 1,000 animals. And that's one big reason the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation and its hunter conservation group partners got involved. If the land is developed and, and broken up into housing and residential subdivision, um, the impacts of the surrounding lands can be quite, quite severe, both from um, just the activities that the residential development brings, but fire danger, the ability to manage for the elk, the ability to hunt. While Whetstone could have made 20 to 30 percent more money from other parties, he didn't want to see the land subdivided. Anybody can come up here now. It, it's uh, public property.